Hi, welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and I am so glad you're here with me today. If you're new to my channel, well, I hope you watch to the end and I hope you like what you see because if you do, please subscribe and share. Give me a like and a comment below. I would love to hear from you and I'd love you to join my YouTube family. So for my subscribers, well, you know I just adore you. Today we're starting, it's New Year's Eve, you'll probably get this for New Year's Day. We're starting the new year and I want to start it on a positive note. I made my daughter this wisdom doll for Christmas. And it says courage because I wanted her to realize that she needs to go for her dreams and stop putting them on hold. So I wanted to make a Dollar Tree version. And so what we are going to create is this. And this is a loved because you are loved. And after all that we've been through this year, you deserve to get a hug, even if it's a virtual one. So Artistry Collaborative is the home of TriLab because all we want you to do is try. So come along and let's try this together. So I created this, I call it a wisdom doll, for my daughter for Christmas. Um, I wanted to encourage her to spread her wings, that her wings are ready, and that she needs to pursue music because it really is her lifeblood. Um, so I thought this is using a um, spindle that you use when you weave. I found that at a flea market, and I bought these wings at least three years ago on a clearance at Michael's. Uh, I made the face from a mold from uh, polymer clay, and then this is just a piece of foam core that I covered with feathers, and then I added some charms. The charm says, with brave wings she flies, and then down here it says, be bright, be you, and of course courage, because that's what we need to trust that we will be where we should be. So. I want to, uh, being the new year, I, I have to say, I didn't get to all the Christmas tutorials that I hoped to. Um, losing my mom, you know, was part of it, but I just, my timing wasn't great. So next year I'm going to start really early, really, really early, because I still have so many that I have not accomplished. And some of them I'm going to transfer into spring Easter um, ideas. So, so okay, let's get going. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I, I found this at the Dollar Tree, and um, actually got this one for 50 cents because all their Christmas was 50% off, which is just unbelievable. <laughs> and um, I thought maybe I would do it this way so that I could put charms in here, but I think I'm going to do it this way. This is going to be the body. So I'm going to get my gesso. Sorry about that. And uh, paint it. Now I'm going to paint it white, but I may change my mind. I just want to really cover this. So I was looking through my materials. I gave this several coats of paint and um, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And Excuse me, I saw this embossed sheet and I thought, well, that could be really pretty. And then I was looking through some of my lace and my doilies and thought, well, we could put that on there. But then I came across this piece that I bought at Joanne's uh, this past summer, I think. Uh, Might have been even more than that. Um, it was clearance and it, it's really pretty and the... They, they look like rhinestones, but they're like little metal brads. They're, they're just really cool. And I want the wings to have lots of color. So I thought this would be a really good mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this. It's a little wet. It's not a lot wet. but um, I'm going to place this on here, and I'm going to cut a piece so that we can cover it and 
because my patience is, you know, not the best, and I should probably just wait a while, but I'm just anxious to do videos. I just feel like I haven't been able to give you guys enough videos, um, so, yeah, I'm just, I just need to create and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I do need to wait, but I'm going to cut this. So I'm just going to cut a big piece. Um, not anything. Not being very precise. I just want to cover it all the way around. And then I am going to mod podge it. So I am going to have to wait until this is completely dry before I put it on. Right. So I'm going to remove this piece. Came off rather easy. I could put it up here, but we'll see. Alright. So I was going to modge podge it, but maybe I'll just hot glue it on the sides. Like so. So yeah, I went out to get some um, paint chips because I collect paint chips. We use them sometimes in our writing classes as um, prompts, but I couldn't find them, so I had to go get some more. And one thing leads to another, and then you stop here, and you stop there, and a lot. Anyway, um, so I'm going to, I was going to Mod Podge, but I decided that I don't think it really needs it. So I'm going to use the hot glue to get this fabric to stay. You know, I, I kept going back and forth whether I wanted to use this side or the other side. I am going to create one with this side, too. Probably not on a tutorial, because that would just... I don't know. If you would like to see something done a couple of different ways, let me know. But, um, yeah, just for my own curiosity. Um, so I'm just folding this, like, gift... Uh, maybe I'll put a little glue here. To hold that over. And then bring this up and over. Um, so, I mean, if, if you would like to see me do something, I did do that in an earlier tutorial where I used similar elements but created two different... Uh, balloon mixed media pieces. But if you would like me to do this again, make a comment down below, let me know. Because if you don't tell me, I'm just going by what I think. <laughs> That's not always correct. Anyway, um, I just, these, I think, are going to be one of my fun things to create because I want people to be surrounded by positive words and reminded of the things that they need to do. All right, so I finished gluing this and the sides puffed out a little bit, so I put a little um, hot glue and then fitted that. So that's the body. Now I'm going to use a heart and I'm going to, this will be the wings of the doll. And so I'm going to, first I'm going to use a pencil. I did all this cleaning and I'm still having problems finding stuff. All right. And then I'm just going to go along with my, I mean, they say you can just cut it, 
I don't know. Now, I'm going to go along with my X-Acto knife. And cut along the line. At least score it a few times. I think if you probably score it, it would easily snap, and then you could just um, use the sandpaper or sanding block to just clean it up. So this part you could just trim with your scissors. Now, you could use this as the wing, most definitely. Matter of fact, you, you probably didn't even have to cut it. Um, if you wanted to do it like that. But I want to make it more wing-like. So I'm going to try and trim. So that it looks more like a wing. So I'm just curving and meeting the two edges. And again, I'm just going to go in Okay, so this was more difficult than I thought it would be. So, again, if you didn't want to do that or you don't have the ability, I used my Dremel and then finished it off with the um, X-Acto knife. But if you don't have a Dremel or the ability, like your husband doesn't have a jigsaw to cut it for you, um, or your partner, I should say, um, then, you know, just keep it as a heart and just put the middle piece over it. And of course, I ruined the, the tip here. But, you know, it is what it is. And it's fine. It will be covered anyways because we're going to use the um, colored uh, swatches I got from Home Depot to make the feathers on the wings. So it doesn't really matter if some of it's missing because you won't see it. The paper will cover it. All right. So... Copy the same way so you know you have exactly the same on both sides. I'm going to do this side and I'll be back. So, um, I collect these color swatches. They're just so pretty. And um, a lot of times I use them as um, writing prompts if I'm doing a writing uh, class. Uh, so, but today, do you think I could find them? No. So I had to go out and get some more. And I was going to do an ombre, like, uh, like one color, like maybe stick with one color, the purple. But because this has blue and pink and gold, um, purple, I, I think we're going to stick with those. So pink, blue. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut leaf shapes. Now, if you don't feel good sketching a leaf, you could take a silk leaf and do that. Now, I think if I made them this small, I actually kind of really like that size, but I think I'll go crazy. 
And then I have the humongous size if you want to go really quickly, but I don't like that. And then this was from a Dollar Tree pick. And I thought, you know, that would probably be the best size. But see, then I lose these, and I kind of, I like those. So I don't know. Do I, do I dare, <laughs> do I dare make these little tiny, oh, no, I don't, I'm, I'm going to go with these. So I'm not going to make that leaf. I'm going to make a, um, like it's going to come to the point. And come out, come to the point, come out, and then come down here. And there you have it. So I'm going to do one here, and then I'll do one here. Um, so I'll get two out of every one of these. These I got at Walmart, and then the other ones I got at Home Depot. I'll get a lot more out of there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one out. And that'll be my template. Now, if I want to be finicky, because we are going to fold these in half, um, you could go like this so that they are even, and then we're going to stack them like that. All right, so now I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to cut another one without getting any of that writing in. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to watch some television tonight <laughs> and I am going to cut these all out and then we will fold them all place them uh, probably what I'll do is see which ones I have and evenly distribute it on both sides I think that's probably the best thing to do okay so I'm gonna go and um, work on that tonight now I wish there sometimes those are the angle wings. Now we also have to do the headdress. And um, so this is my project tonight. Um, so what I do is I take a piece of foam core. This is my face. And I'll put it down in the description block. I used a mold uh, from Sculpty, Polly McClay. And um, this was silvery, it got burnt, and I just painted it white, but I think I'm going to paint it iridescent. Um, but if you don't have the mold, um, I can make you one um, and send it to you. I, um, if you just uh, pay for the postage, I, I can't imagine it being too expensive. I mean, I do have to put it in a bubble envelope, but um, and I think I'll charge you a dollar for it to pay for the clay but other than that um but you could use anything you could use a round piece of wood it doesn't have to be a face it could just be a blank piece um you could uh you know look around they might be you might use a button I, I don't know but uh if you'd want one of these I'll leave my email in the comments below and um you reach out and uh I'll send you one uh, so, to make the headdress, 
I'm going to take a piece of foam core, a leftover piece of foam core, and I'm going to do a half circle up here. So I'm going to grab some kind of round cover. So I found this, it's a little big, but I can put it in the middle, center it, and let's see if I get what I want. That will be big enough. Yeah, I think that will be good. And then I'm just going to cut it. So I'm going to cover this, even though it will probably be covered by um, other stuff, but I want to pick up the gold. There's gold in this. So I'm going to cover this with gold. I should have cut this a little bit bigger because now I'm thinking it should have gone around the sides of the piece. But I'm not too worried. I can always paint it. Um, Hmm. Like if I you know what this one's I will be, uh, I will be doing some um, Easter crafts in the same vein that I was going, like I was going to do a gingerbread train, um, but that didn't work out. So now it's going to be an Easter land train. <laughs> so, you know, it'll be the same concept and then you can just um, adapt to whatever it is that you want to do with it. And I was going to do a mailbox for Santa using the Dollar Tree mailboxes, but now I'm going to take that same mailbox and we're going to make Valentine's. Uh, mailbox. So all is well. <laughs> all is well. All right. Um, all right. So I'm just going to trim around here. And then you just want to snip so that you can cover like anything that stifles somebody, which is why I probably, I mean, I've taken classes, you know, but I don't dive in, except for acting, I really dove in for that, but um, I think you learn by doing and making mistakes. I think that that's the biggest teacher of all is mistakes. Learn to adapt and find different ways to do it. 
All right, so that's going to be like that. And then the face is going to go on that. But I'm going to surround it with jewels, I think. I have to look through my jewelry and see what I want to use. Um, so I think that's it for today. Okay, so here's all the pretty colors. And I started to fold them in half and it doesn't fold well. It's very wrinkly and the paint comes off. So if you use these, I mean, that's not going to work. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll roll them over a pen to give it a little more whatever. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Um, I did paint both sides white so that it has a finished look which is especially good now because um, some of it may show. Um, but I'm wondering if they do need to be curled. Yeah. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. But see, then if I do that, then I can put them like that yeah so what I do is I just take a pencil and take the petal and I meant to also tell you that um, you could also get the shape of a petal probably on the computer you know just say shape petals and you could probably download one if you're that uncomfortable with um, you know your own petal but you can do it I know you can I know you can just practice and do it with pencil yeah so if you just do this it'll curl it and give it a little I would say the hottest pot was going from dark to light because some you like okay which one is darker but um it doesn't really matter I think it's just gonna look pretty anyway so I'm going to start off with the dark. I'm going to go dark to light. Um, on here. And I'm going to use hot glue. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue here and here. And then just attach it there and this particular petal is sharper here and fatter at the top so I want the fatter top <laughs> the, yeah the wider top at the top and I'm just gonna overlay and again this is not science by any stretch of the imagination now don't worry about the glue oh I guess you have to worry about the glue because it takes the paint off wow these paint chips are not very I don't know now this one I'm going to do this way because we're at the top and I'm going to go over the um, edge of the wing, and then I will trim it with a uh, knife or a scissor. Oh, my phone is going a little crazy. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah. so let's... Just use your judgment in placing these down, but you don't want to put two colors together. You know, you want it to be an ombre effect. So, um, I mean, probably let this run a little bit longer than normal because um, you know I'm not sure what problems will come up against so I want to be able to address 
whatever comes up. Uh, so that you'll see what I do. And see, that's just too much like that. So let's put this one over here. And we'll put this one here. And you don't have to worry about that little bit because this is going to cover that. So now I'm going to go in with, I think, a lighter uh, course of action here. I mean, I could do some blue. Can I put some blue in there? Let's put some blue in there. I like the blue. This is actually teal, but let's see what we have. Such pretty colors. So today is the last day of 2020. Hallelujah. Say goodbye to this awful year. I mean, I don't like to just say it was a completely horrible year. There's a lot of wonderful things that did happen this year. But losing my mother was just devastating and you know, that's what I will think of with 2020 because if it wasn't for COVID, she would still be here. But I have to believe in divine timing and I have to believe in God's grace and everything for a reason. So there you have it. But um, anyways, I, I hope you are all doing well and able to move on and let's let's just grow and become more compassionate and loving in the new year and um, let's spread some joy yeah we could all use some joy all right i need to stop talking and <laughs> start uh gluing some of these down all right, so let's see. So put a little blue, and then I'm just going to go under here like so. This is going to go faster than I thought it would. I guess it does depend on the size of your leaves, too. But, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so my camera is acting very strange, so I don't know what's going on with that. But I hope you got... I just found these little feathers and I glued them around. And then I, I thought I should put some down here so that when the face is on here, it's completely around her. Okay, so this eye um, is the clay, and I'm going to put some of this, where did we go? The inter interference, because I'm going to put it all over the, the um, feathers, too. So, I'm going to take some of this. And just I will probably put a couple of coats on here so that it really shines. So I just wanted to show you some of my process. Um, Here's some of my jewelry stash, and a lot of it is just but ugly, ugly. But you have to think what you can do with it. Now, those are just hideous colors to me. 
but it did have the pink, it did have the blue. I was going to take all those off and I was going to put these. I have enough to go all the way around. But it looked a little gaudy. And then I found this little piece. It probably came off of a necklace. It's all that I had. But I laid that down and it was like, oh! <laughs> And then I have these two for the sides. So that is what I'm going to finish that piece off in. I just love it, love it, love it. Um, and then I found this. And I thought, I might, I don't know, I might put that on there. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so I'm going to use E6000 for this um, so that it stays in there permanently. Um, so let me glue all this together. I still have to put a couple of coats of this interference on here. And I may even paint in some eyeliner on these eyelids. So let me do that and I'll be back. Um, I'm putting on the uh, interference blue and uh, little things pop up here and there so to try to make it a little more even little things like pieces of dust and pieces of hair and I don't know what this stuff is but to make it all uniform I'm um, covering it with the interference and then I'm gonna go over it with the extra fine glitter I got from Michaels. So just lightly, not heavy at all, because the idea was to have all these colors to come through and yeah. So and make sure you get under the leaves, under the feathers. Uh, so that you know it's uniform throughout and then I'm just going to gently put some of the oh. glitter on okay so I'm putting the two wings together and I'm going to put some glue hot glue just to reinforce or help support the wings and just squeeze that down like so and there you go and then this is what I did so far with the face this I put a few more coats of the white and then I did that interference and then that's what that looks like now this I need to glue on here and I'm going to bring it down so that this is the head yeah so I'm going to get a Jenga block and I'm going to glue that at the top here so that this I'm going to put some glue along here. Now, one of the things I thought you'll probably ask me is, um, why did you even bother to cover the, uh, the foam core? And my answer to that is, I never know what I'm going to do. So I cover everything and go from there. But at least if I wasn't... Um, I'm going to show you what I did here. Everything's glued, and it's just supporting that headpiece a little bit more, like that. Okay? And now this is going to go on there. So I'm going to put some glue here and put some glue here. And I'm going to just lay this in the glue. Center it and hold it down. Now, 
I want to decorate it a little bit more. Um, I am going to put loved in the middle. I don't know if I like these or I don't. So I'm going to think on this a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I ended up spray painting the metallic gold and I like that much better. And that's going to go there. And now I added some of these Dollar Tree gems and I was looking through my stash and I thought this might be a good complement to the wings. I was going to use that, but nah, doesn't work. All right, so I'm going to glue all this down with E6000. And I think that'll be it. Oh, and I'm going to do her eyes. Um, that is going to be... <laughs> mm, let's see. Okay, I'm going to glue this all down, and that'll be it. All right, I am so glad that you are here with me, and we are going to usher in this new year. It's going to be a great year. I refuse for it to be less than stellar. I hope you uh, subscribe and follow. Please share and hit that bell, leave a comment. Uh, I appreciate you more than you could possibly imagine. I'm so grateful that I get to do this. Uh, and I just have so many ideas that I want to share and encourage you to create in your own special way. Please go to my website. I promise it's going to get better. <laughs> I'm going to get better on Instagram. My Instagram is also Artistry Collaborative. I just think you guys are amazing. And uh, I hope that you are here for the long haul because I certainly am. So, Happy New Year, people. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. And I'm so glad that you are here to take this journey with me. So... God bless, and Happy New Year. I apologize for the lighting. I'm not sure why it's yellow. But uh, this is the Wisdom Doll from the Dollar Tree. She is loved, and so are you. Happy New Year.